Hey guys, it's Neil from the School Busters, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get gold on the circuit experience for the Red Bull Ring in Gran Turismo 7. So, uh, you've got three uh, sectors to get gold, and obviously the flying lap. Um, so, let's start the first sector. Um, the setup um, was I put the brake balance on minus three, so it's at the front of the car and the traction control was on five. I've put some slow-mos um, of each sector and the flying lap into there and what I'll do is I'll do commentary over that um, so you can see um, where I brake, um, the speeds are dropped down to, uh, racing in line, stuff like that and hopefully that will help you achieve gold. Um, it, basically, it's, I didn't find this one too bad to be honest, I found it pretty easy I'm I'm pretty familiar to this with it being an F1 track um, so I'm quite familiar with it um, so yeah it didn't take me long to get gold on all these uh, but if you are struggling that's what this guide is all about so straight away from the start uh, we've got some uh, sharp bends and what you need to do is look out for your braking point which is now break into the corner quite ever drop down to second gear about 55 miles an hour let it roll round and then as soon as you can back on the gas uh, and we'll go flat out all the way to the next uh, corner so just keep with the racing line um, and you should be fine there um, again it's just finding you the optimum braking point um, so you're not going too deep and you're not also not coming you're not braking too early um, once you nail that these two corners will be quite easy so again there's your braking point at the 100 meter mark break into it let the car roll don't take too much of this uh, corner um, you can come over this bit here you should be fine uh, you don't lose too much time so again drop it down to about 60 miles an hour second gear and then let the car roll into the corner as soon as you're straight again back on the gas and that should quite easily get your gold um, so let's move on to sector two um, so yeah this one um, it can be a little bit trickier again it's finding the right braking points um, this one at the bottom of this corner is very deceiving um, it's quite a weird air, air pin um, but yeah it's quite deceiving it looks like you could just go all the way around um, not breaking too much but if you do you're going to be in that gravel um, so like I say it is quite deceiving so make sure uh, you brake for it properly on that one this one is a little little dab of the brakes and let the car roll round and, and just lightly touching the accelerator same again with this really uh, it's just long left handers um, so yeah and then it's just following the racing line um, but the tricky one was that apex, the um, not the apex, sorry, the uh, air pin. Um, it's knowing when to actually break and how much to break. Once you nail that, the corner should be fine for you. Um, so what we're doing here is looking for the uh, the boards on the left here, and it's now just about the 100 meter mark. Break into the corner, let go of the brake now. Let the car roll halfway round. As soon as you see the exit there, now back on that gas straight away and then come straight away round to the right hand side of the track here so you're pretty much hugging it as much as you can ready for the next left hander um, so again now we're going to brake into the corner off the brake let the car roll round um, if you feel like you need to just give it a little touch or lift off then do so but you should be fine if you brake where I said um, you can pinch some of that but I, I didn't bother um, so again just a slight little break early uh, off the gas let it roll round and then into the corner you can pinch some of this apex not too much because you could clip the uh, gravel and lose a bit of uh, speed or you could spin out and then hopefully that should get you gold and moving on to the uh, sector three so again this one 
it's just two right handers basically um, quite fairly easy I'd say um, it's just break early let the car roll in and then once you straighten up go for the gas so break early let the car roll back on the accelerator same again break now let the car roll back on the gas that's how easy it is really um, there's not much more else to that you don't need to brake super hard as long as you're not late on the brakes too late you can't really go wrong with that to be honest um, but yeah it's a gold that'll do us so yeah here's a slow-mo if you need it and try and find the braking point um, just copy my braking point like I say so you're braking now at the 50 meter mark let the car roll round back on now straight away back on the gas get ready for the next right hand or which is brake now early let the car roll clip the apex try not to take too much of it because it'll uh, maybe spit you out or you'll clip that little curb that's on there and then like i say once that car straightened up go for the accelerator as soon as you can um, and then that should get you gold nice and easy so moving on to the flying lap now this will be the tricky part is obviously getting all them sectors nailed in one lap um, which is very doable to be honest um, like I say it's just the braking points once you master the braking points you should be fine so here we go again flying lap and what you're looking for is the 100 meter mark braking now heavy into the corner, lift off, let the car roll, straighten it up, back on the gas. All the way down to the next bend. So it's flat out, follow the racing line, and then start, once you approach, come to the left, hug the side, and then brake again on the 100 meter mark, into the corner, let the car roll, straighten it up, back on the gas. Nice and easy. So again follow the racing line move to the left hand side now and then we're looking now break into the corner keep the car straight let it roll round off the gas break and then back on the gas now let it roll like i say into the corner and then don't snatch it too soon so break in now on this corner off the gas let it roll and then it's just a matter of um, throttle control if you need to get a better exit so again brake early into the corner back on the gas as fast as you can taking as much of the apex as needed uh, to get the uh, speed through the corners so brake early let it roll back on the gas brake early let it roll back on the gas it's that easy to be honest um, so yeah I'm quite familiar with it because of Formula 1 um, all the F1 tracks I'm super familiar with um, so I, I found this a breeze to be honest I think I've done this in like half an hour 20 minutes uh, so yeah if you're struggling is the slow-mo I'll talk you through it again um, 100 meter mark keep to the left here racing line and then you want to break now 100 meter mark into the corner keep the car straight off the brake start turning into it let the car roll accelerate now once you've straightened the car now it straightened it up flat out um, it's the same thing throughout the, the lap basically brake early let the car roll accelerate once the car straightened up that's why i say it's easy to be honest but if you are struggling that's what this guide's here for it'll help you um, so again follow the racing line all the way to the bottom 100 meter mark which is now break on break ever into the corner lift off let the car roll don't take too much of that corner straighten it up back on the accelerator again follow the racing line all the way to the bottom um, I found, like I say, if you had the demonstration on as well as your own uh, ghost, both ghosts on, um, if you was able to keep up with the demonstration and always bettering 
um, your own goals at the same time. I found, I found that helped a lot. So braking now at the 100 metre mark, keep the car straight, off the brake, now let the car roll, and then now back on the accelerator. Uh, if you need to take some of that apex, do so. I didn't need it on this time. Um, and then you're hugging the right hand side here and getting ready for the next left hander. Um, so again, it's brake early at the 50 meter mark now. Off the brake, let the car roll, feather the accelerator. So it's just an accelerator control basically, you're feathering it and then back on fully for the accelerator to get the speed out of the exit. Take some of the apex, brake early, off the brake, let it roll and then back on halfway round. Again, clipping the apex, so you're keeping the car as straight as possible. So obviously the more turns, the less speed you're gonna take out of the exit. So again, keep to the left hand side. And then again, we're gonna break early into the corner, as I said before, which is at the 50 meter mark now, break now, off the brake, let it roll take some of the apex back on the accelerator and then again brake now let the car roll clip the apex back on the accelerator as fast as you can over the start finish so I hope this guide helps if it did don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time Bye. <laughs>